Hi, it's Karen from the library. Today I'm going to read you Icebreaker, the story of Mabel Fairbanks and her love of skating. From the moment she puts on a pair of skates and the more she learns, she decides she's going to be a star. Icebreaker, how Mabel Fairbanks changed figure skating by Rose Vina, illustrated by Claire Allman. With permission, from Albert Whitman and Company. Winter nights, cold and dark, are no place for a child. Yet Mabel sleeps on an icy stoop in New York City, with nowhere to live and nowhere to go. She's all on her own. One day, a woman spots Mabel and offers her shelter. Mabel accepts, and in exchange helps babysit the woman's child. Inside her new home, Mabel loves to look out the apartment windows at the park below. It's a winter wonderland, filled with ice skaters jumping and twirling right into her heart. Eager to join, Mabel saves up her money and buys a pair of used black ice skates. But they're two sizes too big. Mabel won't let that stop her. She stuffs the front of the old skates with cotton wool and laces them up tight. As Mabel steps onto the frozen lake, she glides across the smooth ice and finds that here she belongs. All winter long, she practices spins, spirals, swizzles. The more Mabel learns, the more she wants to perform in shows and become a star. As the seasons change, Mabel's frozen haven slowly melts away. But Mabel won't let that stop her. She dashes to the nearest ice rink on West 52nd Street. She waits in line patiently, just like everyone else. When Mabel gets to the front, they send her away. Colored are not allowed, they say. It's 1930, and only white skaters are allowed on the ice. But Mabel won't let that stop her. Every day she returns to the rink, and every day she is turned away until one evening a rink manager lets her in. You can skate, but only when the white skaters are done training. Mabel's love for skating grows with every jump and every fumble. Mabel enjoys learning new tricks as she pushes herself across the ice fast and powerful. At the rink, Top coaches see Mabel's talent and nurture it. Howard Nicholson teaches her the Lutz jump and Maribel Vinson helps her perfect the layback spin. Her coaches risk their reputations for teaching a black child. They continue to teach Mabel anyway. Mabel wants to compete for gold medals. She imagines the world's biggest stage, the Olympics. To enter competitions, she must belong to a skating club and pass tests. But the club's officials tell her no. Colored are not allowed in skating clubs. Colored are not allowed to take skating tests. But Mabel won't let that stop her. She wants to join an ice show. An entertainment manager named Wally Hunter sees magic in Mabel's skating skills. He builds a six foot by six foot ice tank in her home. This way, she can practice any time her heart desires. Soon Mabel gets skating gigs in Harlem nightclubs. She delights the audiences with her sit spin, split jump, and spectacular smile. Mabel likes to stand out when she's on the ice. She paints her skates pink and wears flashy, colorful costumes that shine bright under the spotlights. 
Hollywood is looking for ice skaters to perform on the television show Frosty Frolics. Mabel packs her bags. The television show is a hit. Mabel finds even more success performing for live audiences in Cuba and Mexico. But no matter how well she performs, they still won't let her have star billing because of the color of her skin. Mabel says yes, while the world says no. But Mabel won't let that stop her. She hopes that someday the world will accept black skaters on the ice. She decides the best way to make change happen is to start coaching. Mabel encourages her students to work hard and never give up, no matter how hard they fall or how difficult the journey may be. If her students don't have enough money for skating, Mabel helps. She buys them their first pair of skates and admission to the rink. She teaches them to leap far, to spin fast, to believe. Mabel demands change and a path towards a brighter future. She commands the Los Angeles Figure Skating Club to admit her skaters. Mabel pushes the judges to be fair to all her students, no matter what they look like. Now all skaters can join skating clubs, compete, and chase their dreams. Because of Mabel's strong voice and helping heart, the icy barriers were shattered. I hope you enjoyed the story, Icebreaker, and the remarkable woman, Mabel Fairbanks, who even though she couldn't fully realize her dream of becoming a star figure skater, was able to go on to coach and inspire her students to achieve their dreams.